so I can put more crap on the roof. Ha ha ha. Uh, this section back here is the deck that I currently can't open because I have a palm tree in my yard. Okay, and we cruise along. And this little item right here is my gas hose. This one right here is the gas fill. 35 gallons. This one right here is my outdoor shower. And I got some wheels. Some accessories for the inside the handy dandy kitchen area. Oh, I guess it's like a, oops. Oh well, I broke it, no biggie. Hot water heater. Shore power plug. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Ooh, outside entertainment. The black and gray water tank disposal. You know, cruising along. Oh, a window. There'd be a window. And then over here is a generator. Yeah, look, there's a generator. A little Onan. Onan 4000. Sweet. What's in here? Oh, the sewer line hose. Storage area that you have to buy separately. Evil bastards. Well, then right here's all the details. Uh, right there is how much its max load is in my cargo area. Don't overload your car. Yeah, whatever. We brought it home. Anyways, so there, I got a battery. These are my lovely tanks for my propane. It's got electric jack. Yeah. I gotta remove my hitch later. Gotta remember that. This one here I'm calling the grandkids camping area because that's pretty much all they'll be allowed to see. Oh, right there, they're electric jacks for stabilization. Oh, that's cool. And uh, there's the button for it, little button up and down. <laughs> and then over here is the outdoor plumbing for a barbecue grill. I have an awning. Well, I haven't pulled it out yet. See, so give me a minute. And then over here we have steps. Mm -hmm. The door. Yeah, door. And then right here is a grab handle in case I get fat and fall off. And there's the palm tree again. And they're all LED lights. I got an outdoor speaker. I got more electrical up in there for lighting. So let's go inside. All right, so we're going inside. We'll go ahead right into the bathroom. Yeah. So that's my sink. Ooh. Ah. Oh, oh. there be the toilet. Ooh. Oh, a light switch. LED inside lighting. Awesome. Oh, and my shower door. If I can get it out. Oh, there. Ooh, look at there. In my shower. I think I'm gonna change my head, change it up a little bit there. Oh, you can actually see out of that. It's cool. Okay. A little medicine cabinet, but I got it safety locked right now. See the little string that holds it in place. Uh, sink is plastic. I think I'll go and get the a nice metal one. Hey, that's attached. Yeah. All right. And I go up here, and this is where Sissy's going to have to have a step ladder because that's how you turn the fan on. And that's the crank to open the vent hole. Isn't that bizarre? Oh, that's an AC and heater duct. All right, we'll go ahead and close this door. <laughs> Closing the door. All right. It's already... This is the controller for the AC. It's currently 92 degrees in here. Nice cool day. Oh, I've got more. Oh, here's this lot right here. That turns on the battery. Provides me enough. That right there is where I can hook up a TV and it actually would mount right here. Yeah, about right here. 
there's an extra board behind the wall just for that. And this is my solar panel array. And it is currently totally charged up. Got lots of sun. What's A? Oh, wow. Is this a USB plug for programming it? I got window shades. You got window shades here and they go up. Oh, now I can see outside. Yeah. The emergency escape hatch. Oh, some more storage. More storage up there. Cool. Oh, what's in here? Oh, look. A little hatch. <laughs> That's cool. And then we open it up. Ta-da! Look at all that room. I can stick a small child in here. Or two. All right. I already see one problem with it. It's the uh, doors do not have a stop to keep them from hitting up against here. So, no slamming of my doors. All right. Here's my TV. It swings out. It came with a recliner, a little table, another chair. Well, they're not recliners. They're just basically just office chairs that are nicely cushioned. There's the top bunk. So, and then that would be our kitchen area. Underneath the bunk right now is a the two tables and legs. I didn't want to break anything, so I stuck them there. This wall in the back is the deck. Up here is where the screens, you can put down the deck and I can, where I can drive up. And I actually have cables to make the deck flat so we can actually stand out there. The This little piece right here is a bug screen and a wind screen. Um, they, the bunks are set on um, the both chairs and bunk are on a chain. And it's an electric motor, which is right there. Right there. And then we got a little curtain area. We'll close that and we can check that out. Sweet. Back it up. Beep, 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 beep. Nice. Now we got another winder. Oh, I got a radio with DVD player options. It's not like I'll use the TV, but hey. I got lots of storage. Let's see what's up there. Yeah. I put all kinds of stuff up in here. Oh, my sink. So right now it's flat. I've got a nice little counter space. Pull this out. There I go. I broke it. It's over. It's done. There we go. Nice little sink cavity. Drain really good. This comes down. I can move it over here. Even has a dual selection. I don't have the pump turned on right now, but... It pumps out really good. So then I put this over here. And this one over here. Yeah. Got tons of outlets everywhere. So the stove is a three burner stove with a glass cover. We didn't really want the glass cover, but we didn't have a lot of options when it came to the stove. So we have that. It's a propane operation. And then I got an oven. Ooh, look at here. Nice 10 pound turkey in that bad boy. Close that back up. Breaking everything. It's the scary part about owning new stuff. Ventilation's all the way down here. More storage. Manuals. Got lots and lots of manuals. Um, the overhead. <laughs> the overhead vent. I got a microwave too. It's tiny though. But it works. So, right here is my freezer. I currently had it on pretty much all day. And I actually have ice forming already. Which in my other one wasn't a very pleasant feel. So, down here is the main refrigeration. So, the refrigerator runs off propane and electricity. Not 12 volt, but... We got the generator. What else do you need? Um, we got that, we got that. All right. 
So when you get out here, you'll actually get to see the full extent of what we're going to do with the deck, with the ramp for the quad razor and and stuff along those lines. Oh, a little piece of cork. That's cool. Um, this right here is the control center. This will turn on the fuel pumps. Right now it reads a little bit less than a quarter of a tank. 35 gallon tank. That's going to be kind of harsh. Let's see. Battery is full. Fresh water is three quarters full. Wow. Black water is a quarter. Gray water is one. All right. Uh, this is the start stop for the generator. Uh, I've ran it two hours and three minutes. This is the bed lift controls. This is an indoor lighting. Ah, well, we'll turn that on. Check this out. Ta-da! Got lighting in here now. Nice LED strip. Lights everything up. Like I said, this is where the kitchen will be. There is another strip right there and that light switch is right there so i can't reach it because i'm not tall enough uh the ceiling uh let's see i normally reach up and i hit eight eight feet really nice so i got another foot and a half so almost 10 foot tall ceiling um what else do you want to see well, that's on a timer by the way this little Bad boy right here. Oh, awning. Let's turn that out. Let's uh, extend. I wonder if it'll stop. Oh, look at that. That's cool. So they got the shade. Wow, that goes way out there. That's way out there. And it's also got its own lighting, too. So let me uh, open the door up a little bit more here. Wow, I didn't realize it went that far out. It's been fairly windy today, so I, I did not. So let's see. Awning lights. Front awning. All right. Oh, there we go. Awning lights. Nice. They did really want to seal this bad boy up. So there's silicone everywhere. And that wire looks way better than what it did earlier. That's good. Because it was sticking out and it got crimped. So what is accent lighting? Oh, all my overhead lights. Okay. So that's the awning light, porch light, patio light, huh? Oh, it's an individual LED light right there above the window. Right there. All right, and then we turn that off because I don't want to kill the battery right off the bat. I got a rear light, a road light. Interesting. Pump. Pump is currently off, apparently. Water heater is electric. Interesting. And then I have a gas option on that too. I'll have to fill it up and we'll check it out. These pins are for the upper bunk. They actually, when this bunk is all the way to the top, so you have this, and they, there's a safety point where they go through the beam, which is way up here there it is right here there's a little hole that pins go right through there what's in this cabinet oh more storage area Ooh, looking for tools all right pull that down we got indoor outdoor radio speakers huh i got all the lights off or on oh that one right there huh. that's cool Bed lift, like I said, that raises and lowers the, the benches. They'll go all the way up to the top. Fueling station. So all I got to do now is pump some fuel through that thing and make sure that the hose is good enough. And then over here we have that. And we have that. 
Trim looks good. The seats are awesome. Uh, what else? Let's see. Oh, that cord right there. That's my shore power cord. Oh, and these two pieces of trim fell off during the road trip up here. It had a little help. <laughs> um, uh, there you are. There's the tour of my of my handy dandy travel trailer. That is way cool. Maybe if I tilted this down, it'll provide more. Ah, I doubt it. Now yep, there you are. So this section over here, that's the uh, roommate's area. See how messy it is? He's a lazy bastard. And then I'm over here. There's the piece of shit Jeep. And we're rearranging the front yard in order to get more parking. My truck is currently in the road. Because I ran out of yard. Go figure. But anyways, there you are. Tour.